This is our Memorial Day dinner. I didn't go too crazy and make you know massive amounts of food just because we had Christian's graduation and graduation party this weekend and I'm a tired mama. So we have brats, John loves these and we just get them every once in a while because they aren't the healthiest thing but they are you know something we have every once in a while. I have burgers and then I made some little ones because I have slider rolls and I figure since I have the brats in that way you know if they don't want a full burger they can have just a little guy. I have deviled eggs, coleslaw. I know you guys keep asking for my coleslaw recipe. I honestly don't have a recipe. I need to write it down and I forget every single time but it's nothing you know really spectacular or anything but I'll try to figure out the measurements. And then we have fruit salad, I have watermelon, strawberries, nectarines, kiwi, and green grapes in there, and then corn on the cob. Tonight for dinner I made pasta carbonara. I have the recipe recorded and I will link it below. This is really good, it's a family favorite. My recipe is not authentic, so if you're used to pasta carbonara a certain way, mine is a little different. I probably should have named it something different, but it's still a really good recipe. And then we are having Caesar salads. Tonight for dinner, we are having grilled barbecued chicken breasts. We have the sriracha barbecue sauce from Trader Joe's in there. We have cucumber salad. It is sliced cucumbers, chopped tomato, a little bit of red onion, yellow bell pepper, red bell pepper, Italian dressing, I'll link the recipe for that below, and then some feta cheese, and some brown rice and quinoa pasta with a little avocado oil drizzled in there, garlic, salt, pepper, fresh basil, and shredded Parmesan cheese. Tonight for dinner I made baked sweet and sour chicken and fried rice. These recipes are so good, you guys have to try them if you haven't, they are definitely a family favorite and you can find the recipes linked below. Tonight for dinner I made beef stroganoff. This is rich and creamy and delicious and my guys are having it over egg noodles. I usually just have mine over brown rice. I do have the recipe recorded so I'll link that below. And then we have some steamed green beans with garlic, salt, and pepper. I just wanted to, re I just wanted to record this really quickly. Everyone is really hungry. <laughs> I made Mexican lasagna and this is so delicious, John cannot wait to eat this. I have this recorded as one of my slow cooker Sunday videos that I did a long time ago. If you've been watching me for a while you know that we usually use the slow cooker on Sundays so that we can eat right away when we come home from church. But you can make this in the oven, just make it the exact same way as I show in that video and just pop it in the oven and bake it for about 30 to 40 minutes until everything's heated through and the cheese is melted and then we are going to have some cilantro lime rice with it. I just haven't added that yet. But you can find the recipe for that in the description box below as well. Alright, we are headed out the door in about 10 or 15 minutes but I wanted to show you our dinner. We're having fish tacos. I've been asked for this recipe a number of times. This is the second time I made them so I feel pretty good about sharing the recipe and I will try to you know nail down the measurements and get that for you and then I made some slaw to go on top that's that there and then a fruit salad on the side. I have watermelon, strawberries, blueberries, and green grapes in the fruit salad. I wanted to share this really delicious easy dinner. Now of course I could make my own sauce but sometimes it's nice to get a little help this is the masala simmer sauce from Trader Joe's and it is delicious. We've had it one other time. Here are the ingredients. So there are no preservatives or weird ingredients that you can't pronounce. It's really good. So we are just having it over rice and then I added a bunch of cilantro. And we're also having some sugar snap peas that I sauteed with garlic, olive oil, and salt and pepper. And then we had some leftover pita bread, so I just cut it into triangles, put a little olive oil on there, garlic, and a little bit of sea salt. For dinner tonight, I made these delicious looking salads. I have romaine lettuce, Roma tomatoes, 
some yellow bell pepper, I have hard boiled eggs, and then barbecued grilled chicken, and then we have some homemade Catalina dressing. I do have a link for their Catalina dressing recipe. It isn't my recipe, but I will link it below. And I just made half of it, and it makes a pretty good amount. I have made the full portion before, and it makes a ton, so just a heads up on that. I just recorded a few of the dinners that I've made over the last few weeks. Definitely check the description box for videos. I'll also link playlists of my recipes below in case you want some more recipes. And if you aren't subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe. Thanks again for watching.